Hello everyone, this is Lenovo ThinkPad L14 and today we're going to enable the USB boot and reinstall the system in UEFI format. So this is quite simple, you should have one bootable Windows 10 or 11 thumb drive. By the way, this is fully compatible with Windows 11 because this one comes with TPM 2.0 version. Okay. So once you have it, connect into any USB port that you would like. If you don't have enough charger, I would suggest to you, make sure you connect the charger. That's the first thing, because we don't want to let it interrupt the process. Power it on and then try to enter the couple of keys, F2 or enter key. All right, it did unsuccessful. Try again, it's quite normal, it does happen. Press and hold the power button to completely shut it down and again turn the power button on and keep pressing F2. Let's see what happened. As you can see it says press enter to interrupt the boot process. So what you have to do, you have to do the same process again. Okay, that's the basic you know ideas when you try to find any sort of BIOS key for any laptops, F1, F2, F10, enter button. For ThinkPad, 99.99% all the time, enter button. So hit the power button again and keep pressing enter. Don't let it go. Yep. It's gonna enter now. Yeah, as you can see now, it's for ThinkPad L14, this is the latest BIOS and that's the reason why you can see the startup interrupt menu. Normally not all the ThinkPad does have these sort of things, okay? So if your BIOS is not up to date, then the BIOS uh, setup utility would come up straight away. You're not gonna see this page. If you see that one, you can get shortcut in many different menus. Shows startup interrupt menu. You can press F1 to enter into BIOS. So press the F1 and now it's going to get into the point. As you can see, it's entering right now. And now from here, we can set up the actual uh, boot setting. All right, so from here, we're going to get into config, the configuration, the second option. Here, we're going to uh, change some uh, settings here and then the security. So from config section, as you can see, the second option is called USB. We need to click here and make sure USB always on USB. This is the option. All right. And once it's done, then we can jump into security section. So from security section, there are a couple of settings we need to change. First of all, the security chip, which is called TPM in other cases. So cl click here. And it's going to tell you the version as you can see it says TPM 2.0 and the security chip pin is on. We have to turn it on. Okay. Once it's done, click again to the security section and then choose secure boot as you can see that one. So this is the first one and this is the second settings that we need to change. So from security, secure boot, we have to enable it because we are choosing UEFI. So secure boot has to be enabled. That's the principle and basics for UEFI environment. So once it's on, then it's all fine. We don't need to change anything else from right here. So we can go back again. So click in the security section and let's see if there is anything else. Nothing in there. Now from the startup menu, we're going to choose uh, the first priority, like which one we're going to choose as a first boot. So click on boot section. And from here, this is the most coolest part for this model. You know, we can just click and drag and choose which one we want as a first priority. So example, as you can see, it says USB HDD. That's the one. This is my USB. All right. And this one, we can just drag it, which is quite simple. So click here with your left hand on the trackpad and with the right hand, just drag it wherever you want. So if you take it to the top section, that's mean this is the first priority. 
and the second one would be the second, third one would be the third. This is the way, you know. I love it to be honest. I never seen in any BIOS like that except some MSI latest motherboard. So now we can save these settings by pressing F10 and we can say yes. And now I hope this machine would restart and is gonna turn up from the actual USB. Let's see what happened. As you can see now, it's loading up. It takes a little bit of time because my actual USB is not that fast. Uh, that is just the cheap one from Amazon. Okay. By the way, soon I'm gonna produce a video like how the all the sellers are faking and lying about the USB capacity. We can see nowadays like one TB, two TB. USB they are selling for so cheap price. Okay, it's coming soon. By the way, as you can see, this is starting up. We can set up the windows. This is quite simple, either Windows 10 or 11. Same process, okay? Choose your language, click on setup, accept the terms and condition, choose the drive where you would like to install it. And if you wanna do clean installation, you have to format the drive. And if you do format, you're gonna lose every single existing things which is in your hard drive or SSD. Make sure you back it up before you do any sort of uh, attempt to format it. Now we're gonna delete everything because we want clean installation and we don't have any important data in there. As you can see, I'm deleting one by one. And I'm just gonna keep only one partition. As you can see, this is only 238, like 240 gig, okay? Hit on next. And now he's gonna, you know, take all the necessary files and stuff. This is quite simple. Uh, I'm gonna fast forward the video just to make it shorter, but stay until the end. Let's see if the complete process is successful or not. So it's almost done, it took about 15 to 18 minutes to finish the complete process. And I hope you did like this video. If you do, please subscribe and thanks for your support. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.